Hey, he's trying to get your identifying information sent Hey, shut up! Shut up! Hey, shut the hell up and identify yourself. Hey, thug! Shut the hell up and identify yourself. He's got to get your identifying information because you won't get it. Stop talking over me. Hey, everybody. It's James Freeman out here in Levon, Texas. What's up, guys? Looks scary. Just filming. You okay? You okay? No? What's up? Good, how are you? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Kudos to this officer. She says hello, but gives no stupid directives and goes right back to work. I, uh, I asked the girl who's been stopped if she's okay. She said no. She said no. Not okay. Otto, what's up, man? Hey, are you in Texas or? Uh... What's up, man? What? What's going on? That's my girlfriend. Oh, I'm. Are you getting her out of here? I was just filming. Here, pull up, man. You're in the, the road. Yeah. Um, no, I just, I just film police. I see. Yeah, I just see lights and I turn I, I turn on the camera and I wish people would do it for me too. That's all. That's it, man. Alright, no problem, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. He says that's his girlfriend there. Um, <clears throat> apparently we've got no registration on the vehicle. Some firecrackers on the road. Cowboy hat, yep. It appears that we may have found a, uh, may have caught a slave traveling without the king's permission. A slave traveling without the king's permission. Well, look at this. Let me show you this real quick. Exempt. That means exempt from the law. I'm going to ask him what that means exactly. Where's her ten gallon hat? I kind of, I kind of like his hat actually. It's a pretty nice looking hat. It's Levon Police, L-A-V-O-N. Looks like.
too bad. I wish we weren't right by the road so I could hear hear better. Oh, we're doing a vehicle search now. I don't know if we have probable cause or uh, or if we just got permission because she doesn't know her rights. This is what I hate to see. Hey, turn your camera on, man. Turn your camera on. Record. Please. Hey, record, please. Are they harassing yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know why they're searching her vehicle, um, but unless they have probable cause, the only way they can search it is if she consented. She can revoke consent at any time. That's what we do, man. If, well, she's your girlfriend. You go talk to her and let her know, hey, you can revoke consent at any time. I'm not, I'm not a client. I don't know much about these rights and stuff. I just don't want to interfere, but since you are actually with her, they might try to, I mean, hey, just tell her she can revoke consent at any time. If they don't have probable cause, they need to stop now. If she's revoking consent, then they are violating her rights at this time. Now remember when I first walked up and I asked her if she was okay, and she said no. She's clearly scared and uncomfortable with what's going on, but feels that she needs to comply with everything that they want to do to her out of fear. So a search of her vehicle is okay with her consent. I like to compare this to other things that are okay with consent, but not okay without consent, such as sexual contact. Saying the words to agree to sexual contact with somebody because they threaten or intimidate you isn't actually consenting. Likewise, someone consenting to sexual contact because of their ignorance or lack of understanding about what they're really doing is also not considered consent. The officer inside of her vehicle is a predator. He is preying on her weakness or her ignorance or her fear to get her to consent to something that she would never otherwise consent to. Okay, she clearly does not want them searching her car at this point. She's trying to revoke consent. She feels intimidated. She feels intimidated though, but she is trying to revoke consent. He is still inside of her vehicle searching she didn't say what she didn't say it at first so they're no no so now they're trying to tell her that because she consented at first she cannot withdraw consent at this time this is absolutely false again like other things that you have to give consent for you can withdraw that consent at any time if you begin to feel uncomfortable with what's happening no 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 you can revoke consent at any time. You're in big trouble now, both of you. She has officially revoked consent. Hey, let me call someone over. Who do we call over? No, it doesn't matter. These these people are in big trouble now. She has officially revoked consent. You can revoke it at any time. I don't know what I should do. Anything they find from here on out is... Look. So after consent is withdrawn, you can still clearly see that he was still inside of the vehicle searching it. Then he pokes his head out to try to intimidate everybody else after she has revoked consent. Four individuals are standing around him watching him commit a predatory act. And what does he do? Does he stop? Well, first he gets out and tries to intimidate all of us in hopes that we will all just give up on it and let him do whatever he wants to do. No, no. Anything you find from here on out is inadmissible and you know it. She has revoked her consent. You're done. 
supervisor. Get your supervisor out here. I don't know why she's not saying it. Because she's scared. It's intimidation. Look, if I held a gun to your head and said, hey man, can I search your car? What would you say to me? See the intimidation attempt? You see that? That's why they violate people's rights. Because you, everybody who knows that she can't be searched, see, they intimidate you. Hey, get away, this is my stop. Get away, get away. It, he stopped at this point. He's. I've never actually had to go through this with a trade car. These are defenders of the Constitution. They should be the ones saying, hey, you can revoke consent. Hey, I need your name and badge number. Name and badge number. You, name and badge number. W A S S M E R. W A S S M E R. That's Lavon Police. His name is W A S S M E R. What's that? Yeah, we're we're good. If you guys are splitting, that's good, man. Thank you. If you guys are free to go, How then. Do you deal with this later? Um. What I would do is call the department. You got his name. Like you can, uh, too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab that plate number. You got his name. W S S. I'm sorry. W. I've, I'm live streaming this too, you, and so uh, I'll be able to show you where the video's at. Hey, he's trying to get your identifying information. Sent it. Hey, shut up! Shut up! Hey, shut the hell up and identify yourself. Hey, thug! Shut the hell up and identify yourself. He's got to get your identifying information because you won't get it. Stop talking over me. You won't shut up. Shut up. Identify yourself. Where's your supervisor? No, I don't have to walk away. What's your badge number? You need to identify yourself. Yeah, you do. Hey, what's his name? Thank you, ma'am. That's all I need. This I appreciate it. This is my it. business card. I'm Officer Spencer, badge number 520. I appreciate it. I need okay. his also because no he was in the vehicle. No so. worries. All right. Everything's and, good. And the threats on me for filming him and trying to identify him, that's, this guy's out of control. I appreciate you being professional. Uh, I don't know his badge number, but this is his name, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Any other Great. questions, sir? That's it. Thank you. Okay. That very much. I'm James, by the way. Good to meet you, James. You too. Take care. Be, Thanks. be safe. All right. You too. Now get the hell out of here, servant. Sir. I said get out of here. You're dismissed. Shut the hell up and leave. That's free speech, so shut up and move on. Tell him to move on. That's right, punk. Your days of terrorism are over. Uh, she's all right. She gave me the identifying information. Actually, I'm going to give this card to you as soon as they split. <clears throat> all right. So she doesn't have his badge number, but that's his name. All right. And uh, she, her name and uh, badge number is on that card. That's also free speech. You like that? That's also free speech. He didn't give a badge number? No, he refuses to identify. And that's why you were getting his plate number, to get as much identifying information as you can. And he attempts to intimidate you and threaten you for being up here getting his identifying information. What do I do next with this? Um, we'll get his... I, police really don't care uh, what police do. So I would make a formal complaint just for the sake of doing it, so that it's on his record. So that when other uh, citizens go and look him up, we can see that this guy's had past problems. But as far as him actually getting in trouble for being a tyrant, it's not going to happen. I live on police department. I would wait until uh, my. Hey! Thank you. I know who you are. Hey, Dude, brothers. Hi. No, the brothers the don't shake hands. <laughs> Love you, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Oh, shit, what happened? Are you okay? Late, yeah, I know. I got <laughs> damaged, huh? Yeah, man, I got here just as fast as I could. 
see you on Facebook all the time. Yeah, I, I've been fucking hitting that shit hard lately. Here's their, uh, here's their backup again. Mrs. Freeman's coming now. Now we can talk to this guy. I've got, uh, oh, that's Collin County Sheriff. Now Mrs. Freeman is also coming out. We got backup cam over there too. Poor bastards. <laughs> they had no idea what they were getting into. They had no idea. No, they do this shit all the time. Really? Too. Yeah. So, I mean, the best thing you can do is go file a formal complaint on them. It's not going to do anything except be on the record. And then when other citizens in the future have problems with them, it's, it's more, to me, it's more for our personal record as citizens, because the cops don't care. Yeah, right. His supervisor doesn't care. Internal affairs doesn't care. Really, that's, that's a record. To me, it's a record for us. Guys, that could not have worked out better. But the only reason that that worked is because everyone there was willing to do what they needed to do. I cannot assert your rights for you. As you saw here, I can tell you all day long that you have the right to revoke consent. But until you assert your own rights, they do not exist. A huge shout out to the victim in this video who had the courage to stand up and say no. That was not easy, folks. I know it wasn't easy. Also, a huge shout out to the boyfriend for coming out and supporting her and helping in the situation as well and informing her of what she needed to know. Also, a huge shout out to Officer Spencer for calling off Officer Wasmer. I think that's how you pronounce it, the predator. I couldn't stop that search today. Only the victim could. Huge shout out to her for having the courage to do it.